Hey everyone, welcome back. It's part 5 of The Adventures of McGriddles, Our Pillars of Eternity Let's Play. I'm trying to pump these out as quickly as possible so mm -hmm. I can get through this game. I'm pretty much challenging myself to finish it, to beat this game before The Witcher 3 comes out. Which will move us on to our next Let's Play of The Witcher, which is going to be great. But, as you can see, we're still pretty much early on in the game. Uh, we're picked up right where we left off. We just killed the bear, and we're still in the Veilwood. Oh, so thanks. we're going to hurry up and move our little party here. And we're going to go back to the Gilded Vale, finish up some quests there, maybe sell some extra loot. And then we're going to head on to, if I remember correctly, uh, oh, let's confront Nanton. That's what we're going to do, too. Travel to Cade Noir. So we're going to head over to Cade Noir after we finish our business in the Gilded Vale. So back to the Gilded Vale. Oh look, there's Cade Noir. Back to the Gilded Vale. Alright, here we are back at the Gilded Vale. We're going to pass by the creepy-ass tree again with all the dead people. Oh, well, that's not it. There it is. Creepy dead people. Alright. Oh, Nonton should be over here, I believe. Let's go to the map. Uh, Ingrid's house. Yep, that's where we need to be. In we go. Alright, let's confront these people. Good day, stranger. I know what really happened in that bear cave. Nonton, stupid name. The color drains from Nonton's face. I don't know what you mean. I told you the truth of it. Are you accusing him of something? Ingrid, or Ingroed, looks to Nonton, touching his arm. If this is about the accident we're both grieving pearly's loss but it was a wild man's do a wild animal's doing or a wild man's doing <laughs> nonton shakes his head minutely you see a tremble in his hands what would make you suggest such a thing stop i have no patience for cowards and liars i like that one cuz i'm a fucking paladin Nonton flinches, but meets your gaze. After a moment, he sets his jaw and nods. Fine. I confess it. I did it. I saw to it he'd never leave that cave alive. I added that word on there for posterity. His hand falls to his sword belt. And I do it again. Nonton, wait. Ingrid raises a hand. I don't know what you saw in that cave, but this isn't what you think. Pearly, my husband, he was much a beast as that bear. I tried to leave the first time I suffered his temper, but he wouldn't have it. She looks away, expression pained. Nonton, he, we met, and I knew I'd found someone special, someone kind, someone who cared for me. Uh, they're both guilty. Please, all we want to do is leave this place, to start somewhere else. She looks down at the satchels. We've some coin saved up. You could have it if you'll only let us go. Mmm. Mmm. Good paladin answer here. Bad paladin answer here. Mercenary paladin answer here. Really good fucking Jesus type paladin here. Oh. What should we do? What should we do? What kind of paladin am I going to be? Mm. I don't need your coin. Go get out of my sight. Keep the money used to start your new life. No! I don't know what you think you'd tell the magistrate. A story about a dream you had. But you won't take this from us. Not when we're so close. And not for that wretched pearly. Nonton draws his blade. Ah, eh, we'll take you out. 
Righteous vengeance! Where's my wizard? Mm, I don't have any spells available to me. Useless. Alright. Uh, hey, you. What are you doing? You. Go take this guy out. You're gonna hit a girl at air. I'm not gonna hit her because I'm a good guy. Hi. Burn. <coughs> you really don't have any spells left? Yo. Burn, woman! There we go. Alright, well that ended that quest pretty quickly. Vengeance from the grave. Completed. Alright, what do we got here? We got a ring. Minor ring of deflection. Nice. Very nice. What's this? Uh, we got it's a sword. Uh, 11 to 16 slash, not very good. And a dagger. Some simple clothing. Alright, take, take, take. Let's go ahead and see what we can do about this ring of deflection. Oh, it's probably in my stash. Oh, there it is. Hey, there it is. Alright, ring of deflection. Ding! Alright, let's get out of here. Back to the inn where we'll have a nice meal. And then we can move on with our journey. Oh, we have to talk to the dwarf, too. Alright, let's do this. Alright, we're in the inn. Let's go talk to Pasca. That's her name, right? Pasca? Yeah. Hello. And welcome. Oh, it's you! Tenfrith told us what you did for him. It's such a relief to have him back. I can't thank you enough. Consider yourself a favorite of the house. Discounts on drinks, rooms. Tenfrith said he wanted to whip up something nice for you. He's already back to work in the kitchen. So, what would you like? Uh, let's sell some stuff. I'm sure you'll find something to your liking. We have the finest cook in dry Deerwood. I wonder if you guys new food now. Oh, look at all this delicious new food since that guy came back. All right. Well, I'm going to sell some stuff. I'm going to sell that. What is that? Bear hide, that. Uh, we'll keep the great sword. Nah, we'll sell the great. Nah. Let's see, 1522. What's the hat? Is this the two hand? No, that's the battle axe. Well, I don't need the battle axe anymore. Or the dagger, or these hides. Scroll letter we can keep. Shield we don't need. Dagger we don't need. Hunting bow we don't need. Everything else is good. Alright. Trade. What do we got here? Recruit adventurers. We got a level 2 adventurer. Very expensive. Uh, let's go to sleep. Oh, look at the discounts here. Let's get the plus, uh, plus 2 resolve. Why not? Very nice. All right, late for dinner. Oops. Go talk to this dude. Ah, it's you, my savior. He makes a sweeping gesture to indicate the kitchen around you. It's so good to be back. Do not think I will let this go unrewarded. I have decided that you have earned the right to learn one of my most closely guarded secrets, my dearest recipe. After this, you will eat nothing else. A savory pie to keep you hale and hearty. May it serve you well in your travels. You're getting really much better at this narrating thing. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get out of here. We have adventuring to do. Can't be staying in this boring old town. But All right, now we have to decide how we're going to get to Cade Njorn. I guess we can go south and then east. Or we can go east and then south. Eh, south and then east sounds good enough to me. Alright, let's do that. Is this south? 
Uh, give me the direction here. What is this? This is... Oh, he wants to... What is this? Is this south or east? Hold on. Maybe it'll tell me on the thing here. Road west. Okay. Road south. That's where we need to go. Ta-da! Oh, hold on a second. Who's this? Another adventurer? Oh, it's a villager. Poor Afra is worried about her child. I don't blame her. Okay, well, let's go. Magrin's Fork. Sounds fun. It will take you four hours to complete your journey from Gilded Vale to Magrin's Fork. Four hours it is. All right, here we are at a nice new location. Gave me 30 XP. Hmm? Let's explore. Of course. I shall. Uh oh, wolves! Oh, yeah, now I have spells. Okay. Magic missile, that wolf. And then you can attack him. And you can attack him. Let's do this. Yes. Man, wolf should be dead by now. Die, wolf! There we go. Loot the wolf. Fur. Some amethyst thing. All right then. This is nothing. It looks like there's nothing to be had here anymore. I'm here. So. Okay, that is, okay, it's not telling me what direction that is. We're supposed to go east, so I think we have to go the other direction, so. Look at these cool Audra stones. Doesn't hurt to explore a little bit. There's dead bodies everywhere in this place. Just everywhere. <laughs> I'll take it. I know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to make it my secondary weapon. Oh, where'd it go? Who has it? Is it my stash? Fine pole axe. Secondary weapon, go. That's awesome. Okay. Now we see dead bodies everywhere. It's the kind of world we live in. You know, in stand in the movie Stand By Me, it took four like took like the whole movie before they found the dead body. There's another road. I'm very confused at what direction I'm supposed to be going. Oh, what is this? Forest troll, that sounds fun. Let's kill it. Ew. Spells. Oh, I guess you have to sleep before you can use spells again. Let's knock his ass down. And you will burn him to the ground. Fight! Oh man, this guy's tough. Keep fighting! Burn him again! We didn't need it. Sweet! Kill the forest troll. Troll skin. Very nice. Yes? Was it defending anything? Blood moss. Oh, another dead body. They're just everywhere. More dead bodies than anything else, really. Oh, that's cool. Golden oval. Hmm. Chewed letter. This piece of parchment is torn and flecked with blood and troll spriddle. What little of it reads, 
Worried he may have come to harm, once I reach Defiance Bay, I will hire guys to take me back west in safety. And if we cannot find Fluvano at present, I regret my eagerness to be away from Gilded Vale. It is very dark. Was Fluvano the guy that I found in the other thing? Hmm. Take all. I think Fluvano was the guy that I found in the other castle. Well, he found him. In death! <laughs> Tasteless joke. All right. I have no idea where I'm going. I know I have to go east. What is this? Odd information. Can I just... There's something I can do here? Your reflection warps and twists in the live gleaming Audra. Okay. Uh-oh. Wild boars! Oh man, we're gonna need an area of attack here. How may I help? Oh, did I lose one? When a party member is reduced to zero endurance, they are knocked out. This means they are out of the fight, but as long as your side is victorious, they will regenerate their endurance when combat ends. Even though endurance regenerates after combat, health does not. Keep an eye on that bar. Well, which one's health? Alright, your endurance is at 37. So we need to help you out. With some fire! That's going to kill all my party members. Let's not do that. Ah, this is... What the hell? No, stop that. Stop that. I want this spell. Alright. Kill this boar. Lava beyond seek. Why are these freaking animals still alive? Finish them off. I think we won. We did. Keeping an eye on the bar to the left of a character's portrait to prevent them from becoming maimed or killed. Alright. Alright, so that's the green bar is their health. That makes sense. Okay, then. Got some hides. Indeed. All of you fools. Hmm? We're a team. All right, this seems to be the way we need to go. Saw you in the flames. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Squatting at the base of this statue is an incredibly ugly man with bulging red cheeks raked by pox scars and a scraggly beard. He is sweating as if he has a fever, but his breathing is measured and steady, like a slow push of a blacksmith's bellows, but that comparison feels strange and unwelcome. The next comparison, probably possibly sparked by his grin, is that of a bear trap. And then out of nowhere, there is this hint of alchemical fire that fades almost as soon as you identify the smell. Come to pray at the statue. The question is mark. The question mark is barely there. As the man makes the statement, the statue takes on a reddish cast, as if it, one is holding a torch to it. It looks like it's on fucking fire. Then slowly blossoms. Oh, okay. Then slowly blossoms into waving flames. The man doesn't turn as the statue blossoms into fire. <laughs> the others are welcome. But it's best if just you and I trade words, and your shadows stay quiet. Hands off their weapons, both arcane and steel. It's only you I want to trade words with anyway. Right, I then. swear before the whore that is Margaret, no harm will come to you in her shadow. If that's enough of a promise for you. If not... Hmm. Hmm. The weaving firelight from the statue gives off no heat, so much so if you wonder if it is some trick of the mind. The ugly man before you doesn't seem to notice it or feel it, although the sheen on his brow is still present, as if he's burning up from within. 
The sudden weaving flames from the statue of Magrin cast more light on his features. The man's robes are dirty, stained with grease, and other marks of the road. The hem of his robes, including the sleeves, are burned at the edges, as if he walked a great distance across a fire, then reached into the flames with his hands to pull something out. But while his hands are thick and callous, they bear no burn or scorch marks. Strange choice of company, stone seems cold comfort. The man smiles slightly at your words, then nods, never taking his eyes off you. I could do better, though the road holds little else. His eyes run the length of your frame, and he follows it with a sneer. Until now. Oh, God, please don't tell me he's hitting on me. The world holds many whores we worship. Respect comes with honest titles. I bet even you have gone against instinct in exchange for little copper, or paid for such in countless ways. But if I give offense, if words are all that are left to a man, then why in the Deerwood of all places he should have leave to speak them? Focus your gaze on the staff. The staff looks thick, stout of blackened ash once burned by a terrible fire. Beneath the ash, the lines in the wood bear shapes and patterns, and there is a certainty the staff was once something far more dangerous, but not now. As you study it deeper, it shimmers slightly in your eyes like water catching the light weaving across the statue. Whatever power was bled from the staff, it doesn't make it or the wielder any less dangerous. You look up to see the man watching you studying the staff. As his gaze meets yours, he nods with humorless smile. I didn't catch your name, or why you'd want to speak with me. I didn't give it. You probably find names as useless as I do. The names that litter this world like debris are hard enough to wrap around the tongue. And what do they matter? It's what's beneath the skin in the letters I care about. What burns within. It's more important to me you're a watcher than whatever culture or accent decorates your letters like awkward crowns. Take pride in your actions, not where you hail from. Or how your name rolls off whatever liar's tongue coats it now. Fascinating. If you need a title to hang on me to match your own watcher, then call me Durance. Uh, Durance. And as you observe souls, I test them. What do you mean? I can see the questions bubbling up. Let's burn them away one by one. I am a missionary. I walk this diseased nation with its heathen, its people so careless with the spirits of others and their own. Watchers among them. Yes, I know you for what you are, and your name doesn't interest me. Names are for honest folk, and you are a crack that shines light from... another place. We're meant to travel together, you and I. Saw you in the flames. Not your face, but that soul of yours. All tightened up, like a huntsman's knot. Mm. Do continue. There's things we can teach each other. If you're in need of answers to your mantle of questions. I don't, I don't force okay, my good. words on anyone other than you. I don't care who walks with you or what their mewling problems and politics are. There's enough howling in the world without me stoking that fire. I won't take from your provisions. Don't need much on the road. I can carry my weight, which is considerable. Many will stand against you. They probably already have, from what I can see. Left their marks, it seems. Like a trail, worming its way behind you. Hmm. Huh. If your stone mistress there allows it, then come on. Her? Don't fear her jealousy. Let us see what the road holds, Watcher. Sweet new ally. I'm here. I think we have a full party now. Fantastic. Let's see what his quest is. I met a strange priest in Moyagrin's Fork who claims we have something to gain from questioning one another. Spend time traveling with the rants. Okay. What else is there around here? There's still a little bit of more exploring to do.
Oh, a hut. Hmm, I wonder who could live all the way out here. Oh, it's abandoned. Well, let's see what's around. All right. Let's go over here. Oh, take that. What do we have here? Cold rot chew. 80 fatigue for 600 seconds. Hmm, okay. Take that too. Go away. Uh, I could have sworn there was something here. Oh, it's over here. Another grappling hook. Excellent. All right. I'm here. Let's move on. Oh, what is that now? Willow of the Wisp. Ah, uh, let's see. What do you? What can you do? Holy Radiance creates a field of holy energy around the priest, burning any vessels in the vicinity and regenerating a modest amount of endurance for allies. Burning any vessels? Is that like against ghosts? Okay. The power of priest holy radiance is modified. Oh, good. We can deal with ghosts. Oh my God! This guy's even better than the freaking pre the warlock. Divine terror strikes fear. Halt attacks will. Holy meditation, prayer against fear, a call of divine favor that increases the accuracy, barbs of condemnation punishes the target for their sins, decreasing their deflection, armor of faith, what do we have here, holy power creates a zone of divine favor, increasing the might and resolve of allies in the effect, okay, divine mark marks a target for retribution, inflicting burn damage and lowering deflection, consecrated ground creates a long lasting and circle of healing, regenerating our endurance, Repulsing seal. Places a magical seal on the floor that sends enemies sprawling on contact, causing them to become prone. Restore light. Suppress affliction. Okay, well, we're going to do this. You are going to change to the bow. And you're going to attack this dude. You are going to use your magical spells. And you, you, I want to set it afire. What else can we do? What's this? Iconic projection. Okay. There's just too much stuff here. Let's do that. Navarro. Navarro. And it's dead! Dude, I'm like top of the line right now. Hmm, Wisp Essence. Oh, look at this. Loose brick. Ooh, a new scepter. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. All right, let's take a look here. We have a new scepter somewhere. I guess went to the stash. Okay. Ten to fifteen. Ten to fifteen. Fast, fast. Two-handed, equipped. Uh, it looks to be the same. Not much difference. Hmm. Does it look better? Nope, same exact scepter. Alrighty. Boring. Let's move on. Yep. I can go there, but I can't go there. All right, I think I'm in the wrong direction. Let's go back this way. Actually, let's go back to that road. I think we're done here in this little area. Let's see what this sign says. West to Gilded Vale, south to Anglox Compass, and east to 
east to Black Meadow. Alright, looks like we're going to Black Meadow. A deer! A lot going on in this place. Black Meadow. Four hours. Well, everyone, here we are at the Black Meadow. I believe this will be a good place to end a part five of Pillars of Eternity. I hope you enjoyed our little jaunt. Come back next time as we explore this new area. It looks already surprisingly creepy, even though the music is very pleasant. We'll try to uh, I love my new party member already. I think we have pretty much everything we need. We have a spellcaster, a healer, uh, and two warriors. I think that's pretty good so far. I'm very excited to continue with this game. Very excited to finish uh, the storyline and see what's going on. I'm having so much fun. This is an awesome CRPG. I highly recommend it to anyone who wants to play it themselves. I mean, you can see for yourself. If this is what it is, if this is something that tickles your fancy, definitely get it. I mean, it's got, there's so much lore. I mean, I, I'm, I'm skipping a lot of the side quests so I can get through to the end of the game. I mean, there's so much to do. You saw the, the temple back at Gilded Vale, the, the stairs that lead to the basement. I'm sure that's a dungeon. I'm sure there are other things out. Uh, there was more stuff at the ruins that I got trapped at uh, that I didn't even, I didn't even scratch the surface of that map. So there's plenty to see and explore in this game, and I think that's amazing. And so definitely get this game yourself. Enjoy it. And if you want to keep subscribe so that you can keep continuing on our adventures because McGriddles is going to go all the way to the end, baby. We're going all the way to the end with my paladin. So come back next time. We're going to see if we can't get to Cade Nure and finish off some of the storyline and make, make some headway into the game. Leave some comments, some feedback. Love to hear from you guys. Always fun. This is Alexander with Beer Powered Gaming. Thanks for watching yet again. We'll see you in part six.